here's another. EG Media Group Production. Create, connect, convert. This is the Small Business Monthly Expo podcast. The best source for business owners, from entrepreneurs to corporations. We're here to help your business grow throughout the Midwest and the nation. Now, here's your host, Sherry Farmer. We're at the St. Louis Business Expo, and you know, the day would not be possible out here at the St. Charles Convention Center without our sponsors. CEO to CEO, they are ready to coach you along your business journey. And also, innovative business advisors where they are waiting to help you evaluate the worth of your business. If you didn't get to make it out today, you can always come. We're going to have another St. Louis Business Expo. We do it twice every year. The next coming up, May 7th. We have one of the presenters that we are going to share with you here shortly, Tabitha. She's gonna tell us some stories about why she was inspired to write a book and how she has helped business owners, even business owners, hold on to their relationships not just the business. So we're gonna talk to her in just a few. Now a word from our sponsor. As a CEO, spreadsheets come with the territory, but I can't escape asking myself these questions. In what areas should I devote more focus and develop more understanding so I can properly interpret my company's real financial health? How do I take that data and use it to create and implement a plan to increase profits and discover the company's true financial potential? Enter CEO to CEO. We believe these are the types of questions a good CEO or business owner should be asking. We've helped hundreds of CEOs and leaders understand the true cash flow, bankability, and actionable real-time management opportunities in their respective companies. We have a knack for making the complicated easy and to many, fun to understand. We have virtual sessions online and we also offer one-to-one CEO coaching. CEO to CEO exists to help businesses and business leaders realize their full potential. Reach out today at CEO to CEO.coach. CEO, the number two, CEO.coach. That's CEO to CEO.coach. Are you ready, St. Louis? What if you could build the business and career you've always dreamed of? Join us at the St. Charles Convention Center for the St. Louis Business Expo and Growth Conference. This one-day event is designed to help you unlock and unleash your breakthroughs and take your business to the next level. This has become the largest business-to-business expo in the state of Missouri. Don't miss out. We'll also have some of the best companies in St. Louis on hand to showcase their services and provide you with help and assistance as well. The best part is it's all free. If you'd like more information or to register, visit stlexpo.com or call us at 314-569-0076. Don't miss it. That's stlexpo.com. One day, a lifetime of change. I'll see you at the St. Louis Business Expo and Growth Conference. Join us at the St. Charles Convention Center for the next Small Business Monthly Expo, May 7th, 2024. Tabitha with EOS is with us now. How you doing, Tabitha? I'm doing great, Sherry. Thanks for having me. We are happy to have you. And you have been really busy this morning. I have. (laughs) (laughs) You did a presentation. Can you tell us more about that? I did, yeah. So um, EOS stands for Entrepreneurial Operating System. And so we teach um, just a system of tools and techniques and processes that the leadership team all gets an alignment on and um, and then it helps you run your business better and so this morning my presentation was called the uh, 10 questions to strengthen your business in 2024 oh you need to go over those questions and, with us oh gosh you're making me do them off the top <laughs> of my head I don't think I have all of them off the top of my head I can probably do like eight okay, of them all right but we'll, t- we'll take that we'll yeah, take that what's yeah. the most important one uh, you feel? so first of all like what do you want out of your business? Okay. So many people don't even start by thinking there's a reason I got into business other than just to make money. And so what is that? And so you see these businesses that are you know, big corporations that are doing amazing work. It's mm-hmm. because people have rallied around a core purpose or a core focus. And so um, I, I personally think that's the biggest one. Um, but I started the, the whole thing with the question of um, what's keeping you from getting what you want from your business. And if we don't know what we want, 
then we aren't going to be able to answer that Very question. True. All across your life. Yes. <laughs> it's not yes. just in business. <laughs> yes. And so I think that getting clear is really the first step. And so in EOS, we teach something called a vision traction organizer, which answers eight of the 10 questions, um, which is what are your core values? Mm-hmm. What is the core focus that your business, so what's your purpose, your cause, your passion, your, your reason for existing? Mm-hmm. Yep. We just call it something different because that's what we do. <laughs> um, and then we answer the question about in 10 years, like what's our 10 year target? So where are we headed directionally? We talk about who should we be talking to and what should we be saying to them? So that's what's your marketing strategy. And then what does it look like to work here in three short years? So painting a picture culturally, which will really help you attract Mm -hmm. talent. Um, And then where are we going in one year? How do we break that down into 90 day rocks that are manageable that we can hold each other accountable for? And then what are the issues that are getting in our way? So that's the that's eight of the 10 questions. Um, And then, you know, just getting clear on how we're going to communicate is is really a big, important one, too. And you've communicated a lot. Yes. Because you have a book. I do. <laughs> so um, a lot of what I just told you about mm-hmm. comes from a book called Traction by Gino Wickman. Gino's book, Traction, is where EOS came from. In EOS, we talk a lot about at the leadership level, you have to be able to let go of the vine and in order to delegate well. Yes. And that's hard for a lot of people because that's their baby. That's their business, their vision. Yes. And so you're never going to scale if it's just you in your basement doing your thing. You Mm got to get other people in alignment with your vision and them all energized and all that energy flowing in the same direction. So what I found through doing EOS work is that this is where people get stuck is with the delegation part. Hence the reason I wrote the book and it's called Busy is the New Stupid. Um, (laughs) And I picked that title on purpose because in this day and age, there's no reason we should be running around acting like busyness is a badge of honor. There are so many people who need and are looking for work. There are so many third-party providers. There's fractional resources. There's so many ways that we can get help. Mm -hmm. We just have to be willing to ask for it. And so in the book, I really try to outline why don't we delegate? Mm -hmm. Why don't we do it well? And what is the process for delegating well? How do we make sure that people understand what's being asked of them. And so it just covers and walks through all of that. Well, I'm, this sounds like it's it's going to help folks with their, their life balance, because if you give everything to your business, you're probably going to be in trouble at home. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I have a, um, I have a business leader that he got, he was in a separated from his wife because he was spending too much time on the business and she was feeling neglected. And so we, we started talking about what do you want mm-hmm. and then what do you need to delegate in order to start having a relationship? And they're back together. I'm happy to ah, report. I know, right? That's yeah, a big deal. Health so. and relationships and businesses. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a by, It's a byproduct. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love when we get win stories like that. Yeah. And how can folks get in touch with you and get a hold of your book as yeah. well? Yeah, absolutely. So I have a website. It's just TabithaShever.com. It's T-A-B-E-T-H-A-S-H-E-A-V-E-R.com. And um, I've got all kinds of free downloadable resources. You can buy the book there. And um it, yeah, just answer any questions that you have. Yeah, and you're here the rest of the day, and folks can come to your booth, too. I am. I'm in 705, so I'm right next to you guys here. All right. Well, thanks again, Tabitha. Awesome. Appreciate having you. Thanks. When the podcast returns, Sherry will be speaking with the president of St. Louis Small Business Monthly, Ron Aimlin, right after this. This segment brought to you by E4E. E4E, or Experts for Entrepreneurs. Operating a business is complex and time-consuming. Being successful requires expertise in many different functions. We have firsthand knowledge working with the entrepreneurs and family businesses in the Experts for Entrepreneurs Partners community. Go to e4e.com for more information and don't fly alone. You've made the monumental decision to sell your business. Maybe the sale is your retirement nest egg, or perhaps you're not ready to sell, but you need to raise more capital so you can scale. You now have the task of placing a non-emotional market value on the business you've built, the business to which you've likely devoted a good part of your life. How do you navigate which accepted valuation methodologies or combination of formulas to use? Your CPA may suggest one conventional approach, your banker, another. The truth is, there's nothing conventional about the valuation process. Every business and situation is unique. You deserve an experienced partner who has your best interest in mind, a trusted resource to not only work with you to determine a valuation, but prepare you for the valuation process and all that it entails. 
That partner is Innovative Business Advisors. Learn more at InnovativeBA.com. We'd love to have a conversation with you about your business. That's InnovativeBA.com. You want to be an exhibitor at our next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference. Not only is this the largest business-to-business expo in the Midwest, business owners and key employees can gain months' worth of clients and contacts in just a few hours. With over 20 seminars and keynote speakers, this is a can't-miss event for hundreds of business owners. Types of industries that exhibit health insurance, design services, credit bureaus, credit cards, employee incentives, business coaches, just to name a few. If you'd like more information on how you can be an exhibitor at the next Business Expo and Business Growth Conference, go to St. Louis Business Expo com one day a lifetime of change and we've got creator ron with us small business monthly how long ron have you been doing this i've been doing this for too many years to mention <laughs> actually um, i actually bought the business about 16 years ago but i've been here over 20. so That's awesome, uh, it's awesome. been a great great wild ride yeah and you just keep growing and i mean you've got the expo how long has the expo been going on boy the expo is in about its 20th year um, and we've we've we started out really small in a hotel ballroom with a few <laughs> tables, and we've we've now grown into this large uh, expo hall at the St. Charles Convention Center. And speaking of growth, that's what it's all about. So for vendors, how can they grow by being a part of the event? Well, this is a great spot to share your products and services with with businesses that you can really help, and then that's that's why we do this show. So we can get uh, you know we have businesses come through here that that are looking for products and services that'll help grow their company companies mm -hmm. and then we have vendors here that have the services and products to, to help those businesses scale their businesses and grow. Mm -hmm. You're helping everybody meet up and speaking of meetups you've got a networking event that happens at the expo. Yeah yeah we have the largest speed networking event in the state of Missouri. We, we bring all these folks in and they're able to meet a ton of people in one day under one roof and it's mm -hmm. fantastic. One stop shop. Yeah definitely. <laughs> Saves a lot of time. You're able to meet a lot of people and and then share your, your products and services. And it's wonderful that you you have this event for folks to come to and it's free. So the smallest business owner, the person who's thinking about creating a business, this is great for them. Yeah, especially in this day and age when so many people are working at home remotely and they're not making connections. I mean, we, we've had a vendor that earned a million dollar contract at this show just from meeting people face to face. And we've had others who have found someone to uh, to partner with them in their business he, right here at, at the show. We've had others who found a, a business to purchase at this show. So, you know, the fact that people get together and they talk and they start to form relationships mm -hmm. is really what successful business is all about. You're like the godfather of business hookups. I, <laughs> I love it. I feel like Chuck Woolery, right? There We're you go. We're bringing people together. <laughs> Back in two and two, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, but that is that is awesome that you are able to do that. And I mean, do you keep track over the years at the businesses that you have have helped that you know who've met here. Oh, definitely, and they come back. And, uh -huh. and I mean, there are people who've sold their business, who used to be here, sold their businesses, and they they come back and they walk around the show and they meet people. Mm -hmm. um, we had two of them at our, our luncheon today that, that just came back just to, to feel the vibe again, you mm -hmm. know, of meeting other people and, and, and helping them grow their companies. Yeah, well, we've even heard stories about retirement. They sell their business, oh, but they're not done yet. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, it's a bug. You know, entrepreneurship is, is something that uh, is very difficult but it's a lot of fun and once you get the bug I mean you you want to keep it going and keep it going and speaking of keeping it going you have some folks that that come here and they speak and they share their knowledge their business knowledge with others yeah we will we'll have several speakers at every show and we usually have three or four stages going at one time mm -hmm. and they'll talk about everything from how to market your business better how to sell your business better how to improve your sales how to find the right employees any kind of issue or challenge that business owners have we'll have an expert here that'll address that challenge and and hopefully send these folks home with things they can do right away things they can implement right away. Mm -hmm. And how do you go about reaching out to the businesses and, and bringing them on board to the event? Well, a lot of them are our readers from our mm -hmm. magazine. Um, many of them we know that. over the years. <laughs> and, and it's a lot of word of mouth. I mean, mm -hmm. people, they, they come through this show. They, they talk to other business owners who've been affected by this show, who've, who've gained business from the show. And then they say, we got to be here too. And how can folks pick up Small Business Monthly? You can just I see uh, it just about everywhere. Sure. Yeah, you can go <laughs> online sbmon.com and you can get a copy there or you can uh, subscribe. And you're also getting folks ready now. I mean, I know the day isn't over just yet. 
but you do this twice a year. Yeah, May 7th, 2024 is our next show. Um, okay. It's going to be a great event, uh, just like this one. We're going to have uh, a big luncheon where we're going to honor the uh, top 100 influencers in business. So you'll want to be there and meet those folks. Uh, those are the individuals that are really helping these uh, uh, small and mid-sized businesses grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to have them here all under one roof. And uh, it's a great way to meet them. Yeah, so folks could get that on their calendar right now to come out. <laughs> It'll be here before you know it. Oh, we know. It does. It goes by real fast. It does. And what do you see as far as a kind of a trend in businesses moving forward in today's world? Well, I think that uh, technology is going to play a big role. Uh, AI is going to play a big yeah. role in, in businesses. And so businesses are trying to figure out, you know, how that's going to work within what they do. Um, and that changes uh, daily. So mm -hmm. I think you know, technology is definitely going to play a role. I think um, especially this day and age with this economy, it's finances. You know, mm -hmm. how well do you know your margins and and uh, how well do you watch your, your numbers? Because that's that's going to be critical to how you succeed. And lastly, if, 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 I, if I put my top three down, the last thing is going to be culture and, and really keeping employees because it's a tight labor market and keeping your employees is something that's really important. So so you, you've got to build a culture where people want to stay with you mm -hmm. um, as opposed to maybe 30, 25, 30 years ago where you didn't have to do that you yeah. know people stayed put they did yeah. yeah now they're always moving around they are well the the, the if, for folks under 35 they they usually stay 18 months or less on a job so you mm -hmm. think about that I mean it took me 18 months just to know where the bathroom was right <laughs> I mean no but you, you, you think about that and and it's you have to be somewhere for a long time to get really good at something. yes and so uh, uh, you need to keep those employees around definitely and folks can find out more about all that you do in your magazine and uh, they can also look forward to the spring to see you. We'll be here, and we we'll look forward to seeing everybody out here uh, May 7th, 2024. All right. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Follow for more at sbmon.com. Here's another EG Media Group production. Create, connect, convert.